So one of the things that I often uh, discuss with home inspection clients, and I do like to have my clients there with me during the inspection, is the smoke alarms. So this home was built in the early 20s, and you see that this one does have a smoke alarm here, and it has one in the other bedrooms as well. You see that one, and then and then we've got uh, we've got others that are in this bedroom, and one out here in this main space. And sometimes when you see these guys, they, uh, especially in an older home like this, they're not going to be interconnected. I call those islands, meaning that uh, if this one goes off, it's not interconnected in any way to the others or to the basement or any other space. And that was okay back in 1970. And for me, I will educate the clients so that they understand that uh, that might have been okay back then, but it's not as safe as it could be. Obviously, the home may grandfather, but unsafe is unsafe. And so, while it's, well, it's not in the same category as bad electrical or bad structure or, you know, vacuums in the attic, it's still something that needs to be on the client's radar. Um, what I recommend, rather than have you know, often these older homes don't have any smoke alarms at all or carbon monoxide. But, and, and so because of that, there's no way to hardwire a new system because you'd have to run, you know, new wiring and that's pretty much impossible or at least cost ineffective. So uh, what I'll recommend is that they get an Alexa type alarm and, um, and then the, uh, the alarms will connect with each other via via Bluetooth, via the internet. So <clears throat> that's a much better way to do it. It keeps the family safe and it makes you the, uh, the hero because you're the guy keeping that your clients safe.